Hey everyone, welcome back again. So many of you do not like my original voice and asked me to change it after considering it for over a month, I have changed my original voice to a new one. From now on, this is going to be the voice of this channel. Anyway, this week, we are going to make this thin to thick text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and you can start working on it right away. All right, let's roll the intro. Special thanks to Envato Elements for their support in making this video possible. With Envato Elements, you can download unlimited After Effects templates, fonts, stock videos, sound effects, and more. Check out the first link in the description. Let's begin by opening After Effects and creating a new composition. I'll name it Thin to Thick Text Animation. As usual, I'm using a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a frame rate of 30. All right, now create a new solid layer and name it background. You can choose any color you like. I'll stick with a dark red shade. Click OK. Next, let's add some noise to this layer. So create one more solid layer and name it particles. I'll use a dark gray color for this layer. Now head to the Effects and Presets panel and search for CC Starburst. Apply it to the particles layer and adjust a few settings. First, set the scatter value to 500, then change the size value to 50. That looks good. Now search for Turbulent Displace in the Effects and Presets panel. Place it below the Starburst effect and adjust the amount value to around 300. Let's change the displacement from turbulent to bulge. Now let's add another effect. Search for posterize time, place it below the turbulent displace effect, and set the frame rate value to eight. It will change the frame rate of these particles to eight frames per second, and it will look more natural. Great, I like how it's shaping up. Let's add one more effect. Search for fill in the effects and presets panel. You can change the color of the particles by adjusting the fill color. I'll keep it as is. Let's make the text animation now. Now select the text tool from the toolbar. Note that I'm using the Poppins font, which you can download from the link in the description. Set the font size to around 250 pixels, then type your text. Eject from the typing box by pressing Ctrl or Command plus Enter key on your keyboard. Select the Move tool and align your text to the center. With the text layer selected, right-click, go to Create, and choose Create Shapes from Text. Now let's animate the text. Make sure the outline layer is selected and go to the first keyframe position. Then search for the stroke in the search area box. Have you ever used this feature before? Let me know in the comments. Add keyframes to all stroke width options. Around one second in, press U to reveal all keyframes and change the stroke width value to around 20 to make the stroke thicker. Make sure to change the thickness of all the stroke widths here. Let's quickly do that. Right now I need to change the color of my stroke so that it will have the same color as my text. So select this color picker and select the same color as your text. Perfect, this is looking great. If you want to make the text even thicker, you can play with the stroke width option, but make sure you are at the end keyframe position, else it will generate more keyframes at your playhead position. Now, select all keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and choose easy ease. Then open the graph editor. If your graph doesn't look the same as mine, then right click and choose Edit Speed Graph. Adjust the keyframe values and curves as desired. If required, you can always zoom in and out at your timeline by pressing the minus and equal sign key on your keyboard. Adjust the curve and switch back to the main timeline by pressing the same graph button here. Check the animation. It should look smooth now. You can adjust the end keyframes to create a dynamic animation. 
Now each letter will animate at a different time. You can consider it a second animation. Ha ha. Zoom out, go to the three second mark and press N to mark the end of the work area. Well, um, if you like, you can keep this animation, but I am going to use the first one. So align your keyframes right as they were. Let's create the outro animation. Now at the two second mark, copy and paste these keyframes. Then at the three second mark, copy the initial keyframes and paste them here. This creates a seamless loop. Check the animation and this is how it looks now. Great. In some cases, the last keyframes may require adjusting the graph curves. So select the end keyframes, open the graph editor again, and adjust the curves as we did before. So this is it for today. Let me know in the comments how you like this new voice. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck and peace.